From our villa rooftops, countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert, under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino. Take in the theater. Or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Luxurious expanse of the open desert, from the clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, I hope there's a way to turn that off if I ever decide to stream this game again and play this add-on because that gets really annoying really fast there's almost no second no time whatsoever between each loop of that audio people are very divisive on this add-on and this is going to be the third time I'm playing through it and I will admit it's got some issues <clears throat> but I don't think it's necessarily the worst part of <clears throat> the game And as far as I know, it's not necessarily the worst add-on in the game. It just works with by different rules. And I can totally understand some of the frustrations people have with this add-on.
having your whole inventory taken away from you and relying solely on your skills throughout most of the add-ons uh, quest line which if you spend your skill points poorly on a build, yeah, it can lead to a lot of problems. Or just simply not even being high, <clears throat> high enough level to complete the add-on in the first place is also frustrating. But I'll give my actual thoughts on this add-on anyways, after I get done completing it. <clears throat> One thing I do think is a little unnecessary as all this, well, I should have put it. <clears throat> Since your whole inventory gets taken away from you, of course you have to scavenge for items, as many items as you can get. It's kind of like playing Minecraft in that way, where essentially you start out with nothing, and so literally anything and everything is valuable, because <laughs> pretty much you don't have anything to, to use. You start ignoring items to pick up that you don't need eventually when you do have enough of what you need. It takes a while to get to that point. Yeah, so I was going to look up all these stashes. Speaking about that, the ghost people in this game are... They're described by a lot of the NPCs in this add-on as being zombie-like. And uh, there's only one real way to kill them. And if you don't do it, you kill them in that specific way, then they'll just continue going after you. But... But this is the thing though, like it's really not that hard to take these guys down. Because of that, literally that's all you gotta do. Especially with the melee build, melee weapons build I was doing during my first playthrough of this add-on, like literally because both this cosmic knife and mostly the knife spear, it's not a, it's not difficult at all to just chop up the ghost people limbs and keep them dead.
21. Yeah, I'll keep the cosmic knife with me. Oops. Anyway, so yeah, what I was talking about. All oh, right, I was talking about the ghost people being not being not that hard to kill. I mean, if you're solely relying on specific weapons, you know, and you just refuse to use other ones just because you're not putting skill points into their respective skills. Say, like, you know, I just refuse to use. The uh, any of the melee weapons that chop the, the bodies up just because I want to continue using the hollow rifle just because I have an energy weapons but I'm using an energy weapons build uh, I can see why it would be difficult in that respect to deal with the ghost people but that's not a real issue So, I, I don't know. One thing I will say is that I really do not like the... the cloud mechanic where essentially it poisons you over time. And, you know, depending on... 
the location the player is at at the Sierra, Sierra Madre. That I could totally understand why you know people wouldn't like this add-on because it isn't really annoying mechanic to just lose health for almost no reason whatsoever. Yeah, like that. It's just, it's just why. Why inside that room? But not out here. And technically, it is out and open like this. Right, the cloud is technically everywhere. It's just that certain pockets of it are more dangerous than others. You know, as uh, Father Elijah explained last stream. But there's no real way to defend against it other than through. having Dean Domino around, and even then you can't have him around all the time, so. I don't have any healing items, so it'd be pointless going into there right now. Yeah, let's go through this way. But, it doesn't go into uh, that section, so never mind. Never mind. Having to collect Sierra Madre chips is also not that difficult either, especially when collecting our cartons and packs of cigarettes. You can just sell them to the Vendertrons and get so many Sierra Madre chips to the point where you don't really need them, you need to buy items for a while. Especially since the ghost people are so slow when they move and when they attack that and most of them don't have ranged weapons either. Uh, you just, you know, just move past them, walk past them, and they're not going to pose much of a threat. It's only when... Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators. It's only when... Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. Yeah. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Again, I seriously doubt he wasn't able to deal with that problem, as far as he is.
feel like I was saying something and I completely stopped talking. Stop, stop my train of thought. Or maybe I was about to say something and then I completely forgot about it once I was doing something else. Watching, waiting for you to try and let me go. I guess it wasn't important if I can't remember it. Technically, just run up towards these radios and then, uh, you know, deactivate them and save ammunition, but I just really don't care about that. Yeah, pretty much whenever you find pockets of, not pockets, but whenever you find Sierra Madre chips and, you know, just random containers like desks and file cabinets and such, normally you get about on average 10 to 15 and that adds up over time to the point where you get like thousands of them and sent especially if you have a high medicine skill and conserve ammunition and such it's not that hard to conserve not only resources, but cash as well. So far this is promising though, not entering a whole lot of issues right now. Then again, I am willing to use weapons besides just explosive ones right now, just like I did in the beginning of this playthrough. No, not the add-on, but just in the game in general. can't be picky about the kind of weapons and items I can use. I don't have a whole lot to work with.
Back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. You do it. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. <laughs> or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. Uh, it's still cold. <laughs> Love thermoses. Even though they're technically made to keep liquid food hot, um, the one I have also keeps me cold as well. Yeah, for much longer than it does for keeping liquids hot. And it's keeping that energy drink I had earlier really cold. I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Metaphor, Dog knows please. I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts hurts and tries to murder me out of him he won't succeed just makes me angrier dog is the beast we simply change cages like the ones here it's close closer than i'd like dog's been into things needs to think before he eats chew before he swallows he's eager that way now the collars are part of me inside i can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below like before it was cold and heavy before going in the cage now you're here and it's pulling and kicking again tugging like a leash Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry, greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. 
Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Of course you do. And so do I. One thing I will mention is that because I was not concerned about putting points into the speech skill, there is no actual way I'm going to be able to save, I'm using air quotes here, save uh, this Nikens psyche. Nor am I going to be able to talk him out of both killing himself and fighting me. And the same is going to happen with Dean Domino. The difference is, is with Dean Domino versus this guy is as long as I could be completely cooperative and compliant with Dean Domino, he won't, well, theoretically anyways, he won't turn on me towards the end of the add-on. But we'll see. The key? Why, it's the old man, the one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded as always. And I can't have that. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Yeah. Between gods and dogs perks, companion perks, if you really don't want to be bothered switching weapons to make sure ghost people don't get back up after killing them, then of course take dog with you. But for me, I hate dealing with the bear traps in this add-on even more than fighting ghost people. I'll gladly switch out my weapons, you know, since I have them hotkeyed anyways. Just to be able to not have to worry about having my legs crippled or getting blown up by booby trap. So yeah, I'm just gonna take him. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal, forever out of reach as you die. Prove it. How? Words are worthless. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like dog can survive. It's really not that hard to survive. Fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. 
His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to... fight in. The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, no, they're not. but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. I just don't get this if idea. If he's with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, I just... It, that's the annoying thing about this add-on. Is that Obsidian tries to push this idea that somehow the ghost people are really difficult to deal with in combat when they're actually not. Literally use any means of taking them down, right? So once, and then literally just switch to a knife or knife spear and chop up literally any one of their limbs, legs, arms, head. You don't need to chop them all. You just literally need to chop one of them. And it's easy to do because it usually takes about one or two hits to do so. So, I, yeah, I just don't get this idea where the ghost people are really difficult to kill. The only real reason why they're difficult to kill is not because they don't stay down easily. It's more so that the player may run out of ammo or resources to fight them. That's the real challenge when fighting in this add-on. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on. Yeah, in my footsteps, perk. It's not really about the stealth, it's... Yeah, you basically get the light step perk. For free. As long as you keep uh, God around. Step lightly around, place traps. Yeah, it's the bear traps, the booby traps, and literally other ha uh, mechanical man-made hazards that are the more serious threat and this add-on. I just don't have the patience to literally be looking down at my feet while I'm moving through the Sierra Madre. That's just too annoying to me. Too tedious. Because it's not like I'm getting a whole lot of XP for disabling bear traps and the like anyways. Sure, grenade bouquets are great to disable just so I can get, you know, some free grenades. But other than that, it's just too annoying to deal with booby traps in this add on. I think that's one of my personal issues with this add on. There we go. Once I get the reinforced version of the, yeah, this armor set, I'll be taking that same armor set to Honest Heart just because of the weight limit requirement for that add on. Ooh, nice. Yes, please.
almost got away. And the idiot's hunger screws it up. That's another boy. Maybe I'll tear it off. Yeah, that's another annoyance. Companions never stop talking. Never. And unfortunately for this add-on, you have to be stuck with a companion for at least half of the add-on's quest line. <laughs> okay. to come here. Having the old world of gourmet perk would make this add-on very, not very, but would be easier because with all the alcohol, in this year, Madre, it healed quite a lot from it with that perk. Honestly, it'd be better just to use the melee weapons. There we go. Are already almost up. But it has been pretty uh, action packed and tense throughout a lot of this stream. Whoops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream. Once the hour mark hits, eat dinner and then stream again. Night. Before the night ends. Why am I not able to jump there? Doesn't matter, anyways, there's nothing there. I think one of the real reasons. Whoops. One of the real reasons why melee weapon and unarmed weapon builds are so powerful are not just the perks themselves and of course the weapons, but also just the fact that the weapons don't require ammo so quite literally you just have to worry about their durability and since they are pretty durable, just as durable as most other ranged weapons, quite literally, you don't have to worry much or invest as much with melee and unarmed weapons. 
as you would with, say, guns or energy weapons. Oops. And really tired of him talking. I already have... yeah. I'll take it with me anyways. It's pointless giving items to these guys just because... They're not going to be around long enough to be worth giving my items to. Once I get Dean Domino, I'll explore a little bit more around here. See what I mean? It's like, how is this really difficult to deal with? Let me check something. Yeah, melee weapons, 15. Unarmed, 26. I bet you, yeah. Even if I fought like three of them at once by myself, these guys are not challenging enough to worry about dealing with. I might actually just take that and use it as well. Boy, maybe I'll tear it off your arm, wear it on my neck. If nothing else, to at least spice things up. I feel like I'm gonna have to swallowed his collar. Do three separate streams just to get all three companions for this add-on. Feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things too. Yes, I know.
You got that code, the return item, outfit, outfit item. Code is going to be really useful. It'll be one of the two other ways of making cash. With the Endotrons. So, I don't know if this was placed that these vendors are placed in this add-on as a joke by Obsidian or not, but essentially, yeah. So obviously they don't take caps in, and instead what they do is they take pre-war money. And I think this is like a, it's either a joke or it's a reference to the way the buying and selling system and the first two follow games work and how those games uh, allow the player to buy and sell things works is by uh, the player would if they wanted to sell something they would have to you know pick an item put it in a selling slot then they would have to grab the caps from the vendor they're buying from, or rather selling to, and put down exactly the number of caps that are equivalent to the value of the items that they're selling. And then they would you know, pretty much uh, sell and buy things through that way. The problem with this is, of course, there's no real way to get it exactly like that. As far as I know, I, I, I have not figured out how to make this system work. But essentially, it works similarly like that. You would just try to zero out the balance, right? So say you wanted to buy some pre-war money or like, yeah, let's just put a random number. Yeah, that number of caps, you'd have to sell that, sell items that have a total value equivalent to this same number of caps in order to get these items, which is of course not going to be really possible without any actual caps at all. So I'll look it up, see if anyone's actually managed to make it work, but I seriously doubt it. Which is kind of unnecessary anyways. Yeah, it's got some great items worth getting, but I've been able to complete this add-on on very hard, mind you, without having to do all that. So, you know, just not really worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, especially with all the cigarettes you can find and the apparel as well just sell all that and make quite a lot of cash to the point where you don't have to worry about buying stuff especially since having a high medicine skill makes serving stim packs and drugs like psychomedics really easy able to craft 10 grenades, collecting the 10 cans is still useful just because King Domino, if you talk to him well enough, he'll give you the Sierra Madre Martini recipe, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty good recipe.
basically the Sierra Madre Martini is just a food version of the buff out drug. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to be leveling up quite a lot through this add-on, as well as the others. One of the main reasons why I complete these add-ons before completing the main quest storyline. just spend all of these crafting items on weapon repair kits. There, easy. I have no idea where God went. That's weird. Yeah, I don't need those. Can't sell them anyway, so pointless can collect any more than I need. I think I forgot where I need to go. Nah, I just walked right past it, never mind. Yeah, literally at the one hour mark. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Okay, so... Yeah, I think now would be a good time to stop because uh, this is pretty much the part where I meet Dean Domino and get him as a companion. This companion perk is somewhat useful. It basically gives the player a a few more seconds in duration before suffering the damaging effects of the cloud. It doesn't sound very useful until you start exploring both the villa and just the Sierra Madre in general. And a lot of the Dean stashes, as well as other uh, useful items, are going to be where pockets of the cloud are. And thus, you know, it would be really helpful to not take as much damage from the cloud as possible. Just to get those items. But anyways, uh, go ahead and end the stream here eat dinner and I think I will yeah just go ahead and stream again tonight so I got my days off tomorrow and Tuesday and the day after so quite literally I could just stay up as long as I want to but for the sake of downloading and uploading my stream bots to my YouTube channel, I am not going to make these streams longer than an hour in each segment. So yeah, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the stream now. Uh, peace.